So what is, how does a shadow government do it? And, well, what they do is they reward the faithful. See, if you stay faithful and you don't rock the boat at all, then they'll reward you for doing this. This is George W. Bush awarding George Tenet the Presidential Medal of Freedom. After George Tenet did this, provide falsified intelligence leading to the Iraq War. Biggest military, military mistake in U.S. history. Being taught that way at the war colleges. Gives him a medal. Tenet also withheld critical information prior to and after the 9-11 attack and obstructed justice. He, he engaged in and manages and supervised the torture, rendition, and secret prison program. George Tenet did that. And... He invoked the state's secrets privilege to seal cases against the CIA more than any other CIA director in history. So does he get in trouble for it? Is he indicted for it? Maybe not appointed to another position? No, he's rewarded. Guess who his chief of staff was while he was doing all this? None other than John Brennan, who was later rewarded as, guess what? The director of the CIA, who continued the torture program, the drone program, he spied on the Senate and invoked the state secrets privilege. See how it works? That chain just keeps going on and on. No one ever gets indicted or arrested. You see these wonderful congressional hearings with Trey Gowdy, who's an awesome orator, and uh, Jason Chavitz when he was there, pounding on these people, suitable for framing what they were saying. But did anything happen? No, nothing. They presented a beautiful case and then nothing happens. That's the way it works.